here late in the second. Uh, this should give them a real jolt here, James, and they'll head into the intermission with the lead, and this is really important that they feed off of that energy and they come out in the third flying. Hooked away at center by Shen. Feeds it to Gustafson. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Hooked away by Kane. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center. Carries it in. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Here in the later stages of this period, Colorado's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Chicago's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that shot dies in traffic. There's another for the hit parade. Chicago's got control of it now from the road end. And he passes it up ahead to Horvath. Break away! Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. The Avs take it along the wall. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Chicago's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake-bitten as they trail late in this second period. The Blackhawks win the faceoff at center. There's a firm collision. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Here's a blast. Denies him again. And they'll dump it in. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Slides it over to Latang. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Avs play it along the wing. Make a change, make a change. A chance to clear. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Blackhawks win it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Big save just as time runs out. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Gets the puck in deep. Quick pass to Robertson. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick and off target. Big hit. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Marshawn's been noticeable already here tonight, guys. He's used that zone ability, and it's made him effective and even helped the team score. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. And that goes off the club. Play continues here. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Colorado's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. 
The Avs win the draw here in their own end. Now a quick pass to Tara Vinen. The Avs will play it against the wall. Moves it to Krizlik. Chicago's got it across the line. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Puts it on net. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Too much traffic in the lane. Colorado's got the pass. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Into the offensive zone. Stop with ease. Quick pass across to Manjapani. Feeds it over to Wenberg. Quick feed to Manjapani. Chicago's got the puck inside the defensive zone. in a hurry and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off the stick so fast. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Blackhawks took possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Cutting to the front of the net. Fires it on net. having the courage to fight for the dot. And that's exactly what he's showing here, except he elects to use his vision when he recognizes the coverage is drawn to him and moves that puck right to his teammate who puts it in for a goal. The Blackhawks have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Stevenson's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Joss is the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by Edmund Larson. Horvath's moving it ahead. Puts it in deep. The Avs gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Broken up with a stick. Slides it across to Robertson. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabs the puck. And there's the save. Colorado's going to play it from the corner. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Stars! in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. Have to protect their own end, but they've got the equalizer they needed, and can they push ahead now? Yeah, there's a lot of time left when you're looking at the third period right now, but they delivered the counter punch, and it was a knockout, so the game is reset right now. And who is going to be victorious? That's the big question, James. Quick shot! That goes wide! The real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Sagan's crossed the line and gained the zone. Denies him! The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Robertson. Handles the puck. The Blackhawks gain possession in their own end. the feed. Takes the shot. Club save. And now he moves it quickly to Parisi. Receives the pass. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Lays out with a block. Now can he get up? Oh. The Avalanche have taken control of the puck. Let's get the call. The Blackhawks are being called for tripping. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, and it is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Slip feed. Great block on the play. And that caroms off a of body in the lane. Gets a 
a hold of the puck from the right side. Picked up along the boards by Ekman Larson. Makes a move in front. Tremendous athletic stuff with the club. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Coleman. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Kane. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Grabs the puck here in their own end. The Avalanche have taken over in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Zaka. Center and feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, there's one more. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Trying to clear. And they get the puck out of the zone, and it'll allow them to get some fresh legs out there. Well, shift management is everything, James, especially when you've had one in your own zone. Now, breather. Blocked away by Markstrom. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Jabs the puck away. The Blackhawks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Myers plays it against the boards. Denies him in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Stevenson's won the draw inside his own end. Nice zone entry from the left. The Blackhawks gain possession. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. There's a shot. Oh, the on the play. Wow. That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Third block. There's a hit on the play. Over to the points to Marchand. From the corner. Moves it around. There's a save. There's a hit on the play. Get over to Robertson. Here's a shot. What a stop right there. And there's a hit with a little violence. Oh, what a collision. And they skated out of the danger zone. And a quick tag up and here they come once again. Oh, that's intercepted. As they clear the zone. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Up along the wing. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Quick pass over to Horvat. Jostled off the puck. The Avs look to start the transition game. Oh, he scores! And I think he put this. Put it in on your own, and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. Oh, he's got to be sick to his stomach, James. That's such a deflating goal. He thought he had as he's looking for it. He just pushes it into the net. That's frustrating. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Chicago's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They the puck in the open ice. Passes on over to Wimberg. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Nyquist slugging the puck. And that's just out of reach. Takes the puck behind the net. Monster save by the Smith. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Have the puck in their own end. Dumps it in. Slides it over with pace to Malkin. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Takes it to the net. Oh, sensational stop with the 
stick by the Smith. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Chicago's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Lafferty's got it in the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Marchand. Good read with the stick to break that up. Gustafson's going to play it against the half wall. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. The Avs cross the line and gain the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Morrissey. Here he is on the backhand. Whistle blown, stopping the play. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four on the ice. Well, the power play hasn't been great. They put their team down, the stars, they're big players. They gotta want that puck on the stick. That's why they're paid the big bucks. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Centering feed, and that's stopped. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast-paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's gonna end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Chicago's got the puck. Handles the saucer pass beautifully. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. And a brief power play will ensue now as the penalty expires. Across the line from center. Moves it to top. Oh, what a stop by Markstrom. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. The Avs fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. Face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Picked up along the wall by Malkin. And that's hooked away. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Takes it from the right side. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Angles it over to Gustafson. And he slides it quickly to Malkin. A chance in front! And it carries off a twig in front of it! And they strike Pater once again! Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg, it doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're gonna tag one home. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. And after 
to the draw center. They've got a hold of the puck. Chicago's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and a reason why they're on top in this game. And listen, it's a luxury when your coach can look down the bench and look at the second line and see that kind of depth. Why? That's not how you get back in the game in the third period when you're trailing. You get those opportunities, you have to convert. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Here's a shot. Oh, can't get it to go. One is a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. And that pass attempt is deflected. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And that'll do it. They're moving on to the next round. Wow. What a game. Well, they're moving on to the benefit of these fans here who are there to cheer them on and push them through. Uh, it's always awesome when you can win in front of your home fans, James, but I thought this team in particular executed the game plan perfectly. And it's easier said than done because, hey, if, if everyone executed, everyone would win. It's abnormal to win. They found a way to execute. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabolski, and we will see you next time from Rinkside.